Hey guys, what is going on? So I wanted to talk about how I am getting better results by dramatically lowering my volume, intensity, frequency, overall time in the gym, um, just by doing a different training style than what I used to do. And this is not me saying that this is the ultimate training style. I hope you guys understand that there's nuance here and I'm gonna talk about why I think uh, this training style and my old training style are both beneficial. But I just wanted to kind of share this because I think it's kind of interesting. I think a lot of people get married to a certain style of training and then they don't try something else. And hopefully this encourages you to, if you're trying one style, to do the other or vice versa. So um, basically, so far this bulk, I have gained pretty good amount of muscle. It's hard to say exactly, but I would say based on how much I've gained thus far in terms of weight, uh, muscle size, strength, and stuff like that, I would say I'm outpacing my bulk from last year, which is saying something because my bulk last year was the best bulk I've had in my entire adulthood. So uh, very exciting stuff. Now, I can't say how I'm going to finish the bulk, and it's hard to exactly determine how much muscle I've gained, but my training style for this entire bulk has been very different. Um, I'm under a coach now for the first time ever, and uh, I'm just doing dramatically less work. And not only is that work less in terms of the amount of exercises I do, the amount of sets and reps that I'm doing, the frequency in the gym, but I'm doing it at a much lower intensity. I'm doing, you know, leaving a lot of reps in the tank. I don't really have a good grasp on RP yet because uh, I haven't been dealing with it all that much, but I would say my old work, I was at least trying to go near at beyond failure somewhere in that range i was doing a dramatic amount more volume i don't think people would even believe me if i told them how much volume i was doing um i wasn't really tracking it but it was a lot of time in the gym a lot of working sets um a lot of you know going to failure and stuff like that this style of training that i've been doing with my coach is not anything dramatically different than normal training style. It's just my training style was very different from what is considered normal. So this is not saying that I'm reinventing the wheel or my coaches or anything like that. It's just basic time-tested movements that work for building muscle, but I'm leaving reps in the tank and I'm doing dramatically less volume. And what I've found is, you know, if I'm at the same pace as I was last year, maybe even better than I was last year, and I'm doing probably, you know, two to three times less work, uh, you know, easier RP, everything like that. Well, that's pretty cool. And that is just ultimately me trying a different training style and reaping the benefits of that. And I want to talk about why I'm training in the way that I am, both in terms of, you know, doing that program is simply just following what my coach is saying, but it's the way that I execute my program that I think is, you know, very important. So my old style of training was very, like I said, going to failure, lots of volume, lots of sets, very much bodybuilding style training. And I was doing slow eccentrics, mind muscle connection. I was trying to get the pump. I was trying to just do traditional bodybuilding stuff, largely under the umbrella of nucleus overload training. So if you want to know how I used to train, um, I have a pretty in-depth video somewhere on this channel uh, several months ago that I talked about exactly how I used to train. And it was just a ton of volume. Uh, I was doing slow eccentrics. I was doing a lot of stretch training and stuff like that. And that's great. And that worked. But my new style of training is essentially doing compound lifts. Obviously, I'm doing some accessories as well, but doing them in a very explosive fashion. Because like I said, a lot of the work that I'm doing is leaving reps in the tank. And so I've kind of been researching quite a bit, more so towards the beginning of my bulk, talking about the benefits of doing explosive lifting and you know compensatory acceleration training style. If you're not familiar with Josh Bryant, Fred Hatfield, um, they talk about that in depth. But basically it was kind of a light bulb moment for myself because I had gained a tremendous amount of size when I was in high school lifting weights. And that was how I was lifting. I was always lifting under the impression that this is going to help me in sports. This is going to help me on the basketball court, on the football field, track and field, right? I was really trying to do everything explosive. Every lift that I ever did, that was my intention. When I was in the weight room, oftentimes, you know, our strength and conditioning coach wasn't pushing us to the max. So I was using really light weights relative to what I could do for like a, a set to failure. And so I would just do them really explosively. That's how I always lifted. Um, and there was no type of bodybuilding style training that I used to do. I never took things to like past failure or anything like that. I wasn't doing slow eccentrics. Everything was under the umbrella of sports. And so these are two dramatically different styles of training. And I think me being somebody who is fast twitch dominant, I get more benefit doing that explosive style training. 
but there were some glaring issues in my physique because certain muscle groups weren't getting simulated enough. So there's still a massive place for regular bodybuilding style training, even for somebody like myself who responds very well to explosive training. But basically what I've been doing over the course of this bulk has been treating all my compound lifts like that explosive style of training that I used to do. And this is just me taking the program that I've been given and you know, focusing a lot on trying to lift the weights in an efficient manner. And that's essentially what uh, compensatory acceleration style training is. Obviously I'm lifting with higher percentages than somebody like Fred Hatfield would use. Um, you know, he's the one who actually really popularized that style of training, but it's a similar concept. And I think most people are probably, if they're, you know, lifting for size, they're not thinking about doing explosive training. Or if you're lifting and you're doing things explosively and you don't slow your reps down ever, but you're getting really good results because you're fast switch dominant like myself, you might think that there's not room for that other style of training. And I would say bodybuilding is a combination of fast twitch and slow twitch. We always talk about, you know, fast twitch are the big muscle fibers. They're the ones that are going to grow the most and stuff like that. But there's still a lot of benefit to training more slow twitch style, doing slow recentrics, um, doing more volume, stuff like that. I think this is one of the reasons why a lot of people have trouble, um, you know, growing their calves, for example. I think calves are like all slow twitch. And so people try and train their calves like any other muscle group. And I think, you know, you need a combination of both, right? It's not to say that you can't lift heavy with your calves, but I think the point is that certain muscle groups maybe respond a little bit better to more bodybuilding style training. And other muscle groups, I think legs are a great example, um, really respond to explosive heavy weight. And so do both, obviously. But my point is that, one, if you've been training like a bodybuilder, doing slow eccentrics, going to failure, killing yourself in the gym, maybe if that's getting stale or maybe if you're not getting results from that it makes sense to try and do things in the very counterintuitive way of doing more explosive lifts potentially leaving reps in the tank which is something that i've been doing and while i'm not saying you're going to get the results that i've gotten so far thus bulk it's something to keep in mind that there are a variety of different training styles and for me this is pretty cool because i've been able to spend one third of the time in the gym as i used to and still get just as good, if not better gains than I was getting before. And part of that is obviously smarter programming because I wasn't doing programming before, but the reality is I've gotten really good results doing both styles of training and there's endless amounts of styles that you can do. And so I just really want to encourage people to, you know, as opposed to thinking this is the only way to do things, you have to do, you know, slow and controlled reps, or you have to do things a certain way, or you have to go to failure or vice versa. If you've been training and you've been leaving two, three reps in the tank, maybe it's time to try going to failure. Maybe it's time to slow down your reps, right? There's just so many different training styles. And I think being well-rounded is having a good balance of fast twitch and slow twitch development and being strong in a variety of different angles, a variety of different ways, working all different body parts and really just working on weak points and stuff like that. And so this is more so encouraging you to do what you're not doing or try things that you haven't tried before as opposed to trying to convince you to lift everything really fast. But that's just one example that I um, have kind of been doing. And if that's something you never tried, I would encourage you to look up compensatory acceleration style training, potentially look at uh, Fred Hatfield's bodybuilding principles. That's not something I've particularly looked into myself, but something you could go for. You know, I have done nucleus overload style training. If you're not familiar with that, I would highly recommend that. Or if you're just not doing the basics and uh, you know that you can benefit from just doing basic, uh, you know, barbell lifts and everything like that, try that. Just try things that you haven't tried before. Really go hard. Really go behind them and with your full force thinking that they're going to work because being bought into these things and actually giving them a chance is a huge mental aspect of actually making gains. Okay, so anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I'll keep you updated and I'll talk to you soon.